Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new Adobe Edge Animates templates inside of the eLearning Brothers library. Now, to access the, the templates, just hover over Activities, go down to Edge Animate Interactions, and this will show all the different interactions available and then more interactions that, when they become available, will be posted here as well. So, to access these interactions, you can see just by clicking on any of those thumbnails, you can see the uh, the preview of how this interaction is going to work. And these are HTML files, and so the animation and everything, that will all work within on an iPad, uh, Android tablets, or anything like that. And they're also, you can take these and you can also import them inside of uh, a storyline or a Lectora or a Captivate and we have a couple different videos that I would re refer you to to uh, see how to bring in custom HTML inside any of those tools. So when you come to one of these pages you have two different things. You have the project files and then you have an uh, Edge Animate CC template file. Now it depends on what version of Edge you're using. If you have the latest version you can use the Edge Animate CC template file and that's actually a lot easier if you want to reuse it for multiple purposes. You can download that and then it becomes a template. Now I'll show you how to do that one in a different video, but for now we're just going to worry about the project files. So to get the project files, I'm going to go ahead and click on download and it will download the project files to my desktop or to my downloads area. All right, once that's downloaded, I'm just going to double click on that folder to pull it up and you'll see a bunch of different files. Now the only file you really have to worry about is the index.an file. This is the file that pulls up inside of Adobe Edge Animate. Now the other files are necessary to run so don't delete any of those files and then the publish folder will be where your final output is once you've made the changes. But for now I'm just going to go ahead and click on the index.an file or anything that ends with a .an file is how you open it up inside of Edge. So you can either go to Edge and click on uh, Open File and then find that file or you can just double click on the file and that will pull up Adobe Edge and then you can start editing it inside of there. Now if you're not familiar with Edge Animates, I recommend that you go through some of our tutorials or some of our webinars about how to get started with the basics of Edge. Uh, we have our Properties panel. If, it's, if you've ever used Flash at all, it'll be very familiar to Flash. You have your Properties panel over on the left hand side. On the right hand side you have your elements panel. This is all of the content that's on the current stage right now. And then you have your library. Now the library is all the different movie clips available to you. Now if you come down to the timeline you'll notice a couple different labels. We have introduction, tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, tab 4, all the way up to tab 7. And then we have different layers within those tabs. So you see intro, content area, tab 1 content area, tab 2 content area, and if I scroll down a little bit more, tab 1, tab 2, tab all the way up to tab 7. Now those are locked by default. You can unlock them, or really the best way to, to replace your own content is to use the library. So if you come over to the library, we have all the symbols, all of this different content that you can edit is within symbols. We have all those symbols within the library. So all you really have to do is go through an order here, is just double click on those symbols, and then replace the text or add your images within those symbols and that's the easiest way to really edit these so you don't have to worry about jumping to the right points in the timeline you can do that if you want to but I highly recommend if you're just going to replace the content and then re-export it to use the library it'll be much quicker and you can see uh, the order that you go in now once you get to objects that have the letter Z those are ones that we don't recommend that you edit those are ones unless you wanted to uh, change colors or looks or fills or something like that those are the, the letter Z ones. Um, so those are more visual ones. The other ones are more textual based, which you can also go into the visuals. But now just like Flash, in order to get into a movie clip, all you have to do is double click on it. So I'm going to go into the intro content area and just double click on this movie clip. Now as soon as you double click on a movie clip, it actually has its own timeline. So down at the bottom, you see your own timeline. We have a couple different layers, header, text, text background, and then faded outline. Now, anything that's green or a color value or whatever, it's multiple different colors, that's something that's animated. So if I just take this little red line and I scrub it all the way down to the, to the end here, you'll notice that's where the text comes in. So we have the text animated in. Now, if you want that to be removed, all you have to do is select that animation then hit the delete button. Or if you want to replace the text, you just move the playhead down to the bottom here and then just 
click on the text area and the little text uh, pop-up will show and you can just replace your text you can click anywhere to get out of it or just click the exit button when you're done and then select the, the next text so the pop-up will show up again Now whatever format you can do within Edge is applicable here. So I can come over to the left hand side, I can change the font size, I can change the font alignment as well to center, to left, um, I can add bullet points in there as well. Um, so again, basically whatever you can do inside of there, whatever you, if you wanted to animate the text in differently, you can get rid of these animations and then you can add on your own animations or I can import any other objects. So if I wanted to create more rectangles, uh, more designs within this, or if I go to file and then let's just go ahead and import an image here. I'm gonna find one on my desktop. Let's just import this mouse icon. I'm gonna take that icon and I'm just going to place it somewhere uh, inside of this, this header. So. Now, that's all I have to do. If I come back into the breadcrumbs up on the top here and just click on stage, that will take me back to the main file and I can just hit control enter on a PC or command enter on a Mac. And now I can see in the header when it's visible, I can see my image, I can see my, my anything, any other images that I add here, I can see my updated text. And then as I click on these different ones, you can see all the different text coming in. Now, again, all I had to do is just go into the movie clip on the left hand or the right hand side here. And now I can just come down to the next one. So tab one button, if I double click on that, it'll show the tab one label. All I have to do is replace the text. Just center that. And the little uh, alignment bars will show up to help you align that better. And that's pretty much it. So if I want to just double click from here into the next movie clip, that's tab one correct. I can just move my playhead down to the bottom so I can see my text. And now I can just start placing my text, placing in the images right within here. Now you want to stay within the actual stage area. You'll see the little handlebars. Uh, anything in this dark gray area, you don't want to place anything there. Um, you want to just keep within the white area unless you change and modify the uh, white area. Um, but that will make sure that it's within your content area. And from here, I just go to tab two button and do the same thing with tab two button and then tab uh, two content area and then go all the way down to tab seven content area. Now again, if I wanted to change any of, any of the visuals, you can do that here, but I'm gonna focus on that in another movie. But that's how you get started. Once you're done, you just come up here and you don't take the content that's been downloaded here. What you do is you actually take the content that's in the publish area. Now in order to get the content in the publish area, you come into Edge and go to File, and then go to Publish down here, hit Publish. You'll see it black out for a second, and then once it's done, your content with the new updated content is within your Publish folder. You can see the web folder, and now the index.html file has your updated content, and um, so now you can take all of these files right here, you can zip them up or you can uh, then bring them inside of any other e-learning authoring tool and uh, this is your finished content. But that's how you get started so you just go ahead and you go in and enter in your content using the library the different uh, movie clips and the movie clips are set up the same way with all the different interactions so really all you have to do to enter in your content add images is just navigate through the library and double click to get into the movie clips and then click on the stage to get back out to the main area.